So I'm wandering around Dunwich Heath today. Uh, we're actually doing a little bit of a, a look at fungi, um, which different ones there are and which we can identify and which we can eat. We've actually got some baby leaves. Well, we're back from our mushroom forage and uh, we've got a few species here. A bit of a bag of mushrooms. We've got four types. Okay. First of all, and this is the prize, it's a set, a penny bun. That is the gorgeousest one. Then we have got baby leets, okay, various sizes. Okay, it doesn't look great because they've stained a sort of like greeny blue because it's a couple of hours since they've been picked and been in a bag, but you've got that sort of like yellow green flesh on them. Um, some of these are a bit better looking than others. Loads of stalks that fall off. Now, there's also in here, see this shiny one? This is a slippery jack, which is similar. The slime is awful and coming in. And then we've got some little common puffballs. You can see those little bits on them. So we're not going to go crazy. We're just going to eat a little taste of each for tonight and then we'll dry the others. But we've got to also make 100% sure that we've got the right thing. So we need to do some identification on all of them before we do anything. But yeah, that's a pretty good haul from Little Walk. Hope they're tasty. Okay, so I've cleaned them up. We've done the identification through an app. Um, anything that wasn't a positive identification has gone in the bin. We've had a, had a few of the baby leets that it said suggested might be slippery jacks, which you can eat, but uh, which can make you ill if you don't peel them and so on. So anyway, so they went. So I've got my common puffballs. I've got my sep or penny bun, that's the actual glorious one. And these have all come out as baby leets. Okay. To be honest, we threw away exactly the same amount of these. Um, that looked exactly the same, even down to the colouring on the spores, because it came back as uh, slippery jacks. So quite what the difference is, how to tell, I don't know. But I uh, think some of them are a little bit worse for wear, but we're going to have a little taste and a little try and see what they're like. So, um, yeah, we shall see soon enough. And if we're dead by morning, you won't see this video. There's my penny bun. Look at that. That's a glorious one, that. That's really lovely. Porcini mushrooms as well. Okay, so we're ready to start cooking these. We're just going to fry them in a little bit of butter. So, I've got my penny bun, I've cut that into thin strips, lengthways, with the uh, top, the cap, cut in half. Looks absolutely delicious. And these are the baby leets. Okay, I've cut them into kind of like, well, I've cut them across five times across the, the um, cap. So they're in kind of like sections, segments, slices, something like that. And then the puff balls, got a couple of those, and I've just cut them across. And they look... They're lovely inside. Okay, so my butter's all melted down, so we'll start by popping in the set or penny bun slices and caps. Then we'll stick in the puffball halves, followed by the baby leek. So we've got quite a large pan full of stuff there. So of course, bear in mind that um, there's a fairly high water content in mushrooms and fungi, so these will probably shrink down quite nicely. So we've got on a medium heat, uh, six out of nine on the, uh, is this convection? Induction. Induction, sorry. So yeah, now I'm just gonna sizzle away nicely, and then every now and again, I'm gonna shake like that. I'll uh, be back for the camera in a few moments. Okay, they've uh, yellowed off and browned off quite nicely now, and I think that's about ready to eat. I don't want to overcook them too much. I don't want to undercook them too much. I think we're about right. So I'm going to pop them onto a plate with some kitchen roll on, just to soak up any excess moisture and fat, and then we're going to eat them. Right, there we go, Al. There is our plate of foraged fungi. What do you reckon? Looks good. Looks really nice. A bit crispy. Uh, looks looks good. Looks nice, crispy, but it's, it's not how it looks. It's whether it. I'm scared. 
Yeah, there is that. So, so I'm going to go puffball. Hang on, hang on. Yep, yeah, puffball first. We'll have a bit of puffball first. Mmm. Very nice. Mmm. Spongy. I like that. It's nice. Slimy in the middle. No, is it slimy? Mm, in the middle, mine is. Mm, very nice. It's all right. Mm. Okay. Try this one next. That's your penny bun. So this is the really posh one, the porcini, the penny bun, the sep. Mm. Nice. Right, very, mm. very wet. That's really good. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. Mm. Very nice flavour. So we've got the, the stalk of the penny bun as well. So... That's probably the next thing to try. So, oh, that's nicer than the cap. Mm. It's sort of it's caramelly, isn't it? Mm. 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 That's really good. That's really good. That's really good. Mm. I still don't feel Japanese. I don't want to like eat fugu or, no. you know, and a puffer fish. Right. So this is our Babel eat, Hopefully. So it did repeatedly verify it. Oh, that's a lovely flavour. Mmm. Not my not my favourite out of those three. My no? favourite out of those three is I like the stem of the penny bun. Yeah. Then the cap. No, the stem of the penny bun, then yeah. the puff ball, then the cap, then that one. That would be my order of favourites. I think the penny bun's Stem is definitely my favourite. Mm. There's a hell of a long stem on that. Mm. I think I'm probably going with the Babel Eat. If it is a Babel Eat. <clears throat> Cap. I don't think there's much flavour in that. It's almost sweet. It's almost like a hint of strawberry or something. Fruity. It's very wet. It's obviously sucked up a lot of moisture. I this wasn't expecting them to be so wet. This would be really nice with some tinned tomatoes on toast. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. You got her with a sprinkling of wild sorrel or other pretentious kind of things that I'm making up. It's only because you've just read that. I know. I think they're really good. I think it's really... I just hope you survive.